What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids. Today guys, we are going to be discussing all of the new things that are coming to YouTube, okay? So if you guys didn't see my first upload this morning, it was literally right before this video, maybe 30 minutes ago, because it's going to take a while for this to render and stuff. It may have even been an hour ago, I don't know. Anyways, getting into it guys, uh, I uploaded a new MDT Live intro going forward for 2020. It looks pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with it, the way it came out and everything. So if you guys please go check that out and let me know all of your feedback down in the comment section but the main reason of today's video i wanted to upload the intro show you guys that before i you know get into mdt live the official episode that should be coming in the next two or three days depending on um how fast i can get that out for you guys i'm getting another tattoo and stuff so uh, that'll probably slow me down a little but I'll, I'll definitely do my best for you guys to get it finished today and then edited tomorrow but getting into it guys youtube is bringing some new changes in 2020 and they are really stressing me the hell out there they really have taken an effect on me and i'm 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 going to try and, you know, just let this video flow and try not to, you know, get into it. If I didn't look like trash right now, I would get in front of the camera for you. But um, I'm just going to let this video flow, and it may be 15 minutes. It may be a little bit longer. It may be whatever. But I just want to stress to you guys how important this is and just how, like, uh, important it is and how, you know, stress, stressed out I am right now about everything going forward. But uh, it's very important that you watch this all the way through to the very end so that you guys can understand it and everything and just take everything in. But if you guys have not heard, um, there are some big, important changes. Changes coming to YouTube in 2020 and they've already started to take effect and so um, they hit me up in my email they said uh, hi my damn toys important changes that may impact your monetization and content discoverability are coming so if you guys don't know what monetization is that is the ability to run ad ads on your video so you know uh, when you click on the video and a 30 second ad plays um, that is how youtubers make their money off YouTube if you didn't know um, you know how many ads and clicks and stuff they get that's how they make their money and that's how you know they they whatever but the discoverability portion is about you know how people find your channel how people you know subscribe and get the notifications and stuff like that so um, they're making changes to that and it all has to do with kids videos okay so it says starting today all creators are required to tell us if their content is made for kids in order to comply with the children's online privacy protection act aka COPPA c-o-p-p-a and or other applicable laws. So help to help you comply, we're introducing a new audience setting in YouTube Studio. Depending on the amount of made-for-kids content on your channel, you can set your audience at either the channel level or the video level. For those who are setting at the channel level, it is just one click. These changes are required as part of the settlement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, and New York Attorney General, and will help you comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, and or other applicable laws. We know that these changes won't be easy for some creators, and that this required change is going to take some time getting used to, but these are important steps to take to ensure compliance with the law. Please read more below to understand your legal obligations and the impact these choices may have on your channel. So what is changing? Okay, so starting today, all creators are required to mark their content as made for kids or not made for kids in YouTube Studio. Starting in January, we will limit the data we collect on made for kids content to comply with the law. This means we will disable personalized ads on this content, which affects revenue for creators making content for kids, as well as certain features features like comments, notifications, and others. Note, you may see some small changes as we experiment and refine our systems over the next few months. So basically, guys, any channel that is made for children, any channel that, you know, is targeting kids, like you guys know, like the I don't really know any big time toy channels, but the channels that are out there that, you know, put kids in their videos and they, you know, they dumb down the video really bad and they'll be like, all right, guys, now we're going to play with the pumpkin squash. And I'm just making up shit, but that's that's literally how they do. And they, they get like 16 million video uh, views a day and they, they, they're making like millions of dollars legitimately a year off of, you know, these these kids videos. And while that's fine, that's grand. Um, YouTube's cutting that shit out because they, you know, they, they got in trouble running some like Google Analytics. Google and YouTube was running some analytics stuff on children and you know stats and stuff of what their interests are and what they're you know what they're searching and stuff like that and that is illegal. That's breaking the law. That is against the law to do that on children, on people that are under the age of 13, I believe. So that is uh, that is on them. They got sued. They got, you know, they got in a big lawsuit over it. And so YouTube has to crack down on all of the YouTube channels 
for kids. So what they're doing to do that is they're cutting out all personalized ads. So only I think only big time ad, you know, people like Pepsi and big time people will be running ads. I think that's the case. The case. Um, I don't think any, you know, like personalized ads, like any smaller businesses or any smaller people that want to run ads on YouTube. I don't think those ads are going to run on their those big videos anymore. Effectively, that will cut out 80% of the total money that those people that make kids videos make. So practically, uh, YouTubers that have been making all this money, they're not going to be making near that money anymore unless they change their content drastically, which would change their audience drastically, which could effectively kill their channel anyways. But uh, they're going to be cutting out 80% of total revenue that you make. They're going to be uh, they're going to be turning off the comment section. They're going to be uh, notification bell won't work. Subscri- uh, your videos won't pop up in the subscription box anymore. And there's just a lot of things that, that they're basically like killing these channels like there's there I don't know why anybody would even but I mean I guess if you're making like these big times checks like I guess they would still technically make money if they're making millions every month I guess that if they took 80% of it you'd still make a pretty good amount of money however uh, those channels are going to drastically change so um, the biggest thing here and while we're worried is because just because I'm an action figure channel right my channel is called my damn toys like you would think that that would kind of deflect you know but you know I I don't want YouTube to see, oh, that's a toy channel, it's about WWE, I'll just freaking destroy their channel. So hopefully that's not what happens, that's not what I want to happen. Obviously I enjoy making videos, uh, you know, I, I enjoy entertaining you guys, I enjoy all of the feedback, um, I love this hobby, I love this, this is part of like my livelihood though, you know, this is um, part of my, this is how I live, you know, like I not only... Do I have other things that I do on the side? But this is a good majority of the money that I make. So when I am, you know, over here breaking my back for over 40, it's over 40 hours a week like this, running the My Damn Toys YouTube channel, it's easily more work. It's it's easily more work than, than a nine to five job. You know, I'm constantly thinking of ideas. I'm constantly trying to think of new ways to entertain. I'm constantly thinking of new ideas and, and pitching new things and thinking of, you know, videos and creating and making content customs and painting and fixing up and surgery and and all these different things making thumbnails I mean it is ridiculous I would say it's more work than a than a regular nine to five or it, it like just as much if not more goes into it you guys know that like yeah it, it doesn't seem like it. it's like oh you just throw the camera up you record this for five minutes and then you throw it up and that's it that's not how it goes you guys know that I edit all of my videos editing can take anywhere from one to literally 12 hours do you want to know how long it took me to make the MD Royal Rumble. It literally took me four straight days of no sleep, staying up all night, getting like two hours of rest every single day, and it. I literally had to break my back to make that video and to get that video up in a timely fashion. And that's just one example, guys. Like any PickFed, any PickFed episode I do, like it takes a long time. Like it takes time. Anybody that's ever animated or PickFed knows, like it takes time. And not only that, I have a life. I have other things that I have to do while only while making content, while doing all that. I also have, you know, any reviews, like review videos, surgery videos. Those take a long time to edit like those take hours to edit those take hours to film like those things take a very long time so I hope you guys can understand exactly how long this takes it's definitely more work than a nine to five job because I'm doing it every single day no days off this job this YouTube channel is literally what I do like it's how I make my living it's how I feed my family my wife Josiah my son that's on the way and I don't want to lose this YouTube channel just because I'm looped in with toys and all this shit you guys know that like I'm I'm not a kids channel like I may make like kids can watch my videos that's fine I don't really care but I'm not direct like my channel I'm not making my videos for the the five-year-olds and the six-year-olds I'm making my channel for the older collectors like I would say 13 and over or maybe 14 and over I'm not trying to you know I I I, I want everybody to enjoy my videos and like if you can put up with some edgy content and curse words whatever but um, you, you guys know that I cuss in my videos not a lot I don't say the F word or anything like that I have before which is another reason why I hope I don't get looped into this but you know I, tr- I tried my I've literally it's just a very stressful situation guys it's very stressful because uh, it's like they're trying to cut the rug out from under us but there's so much gray area right now because we don't know exactly what the future is going to hold. We don't know what changes they're going to make. Like, what if they, like, I've already had two of my videos, which isn't bad, 
Two of my videos have been dinged by YouTube. So basically, you have to set your channel to yes, it's a kid's channel, or no, it's not a kid's channel. But the thing is, if you set it to no, and they think that you are, they could literally sue you. And I think that like they can sue you for upwards of like 45 grand. Do I have 45 grand just sitting around to just throw away and, you know, save my butt or try and pay these people and be like, you know what, I won't make videos anymore? That's that's not what I want, you know? So, again, I'm not I'm not pumpkin squash over here uploading, you know, crazy preschooler content that's, you know, baby talk and targeting children and trying to take advantage of children and, you know, trying to run up my views. And I, I'm not making anywhere near, like, the, the million dollar mark. I'm not even, I'm not even making even a fraction or percentage of that amount of money. And so I can't just throw around money to fight off lawsuits or whatever for being in trouble for something I'm not even trying to do. So it's just, God. I don't know, man. It's just very, very stressful. And it's it's gotten me, you know, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Like, it seems like it's not really affecting me right now. But, you know, we don't know what the future holds. But I just need you guys to have my back. And I hope you guys have my back. And, you know, I, I don't know what to do for the future just in case something happens. I'm not exactly sure. And right now, we're just kind of playing it by ear. You know, we're just kind of chilling and trying to see what the hell is going to happen. I had, you know, that video that had Buzz Lightyear in it, that video got dinged. And then um, uh, that old dump truck that we reviewed a long time ago, like uh, I think it was back in like March, that one got dinged. And so basically, um, I, YouTube dinged those. I didn't ding those. Those are the only two that got automatically dinged. The rest of them I have set for, you know, not for children. You know, I curse in my videos. I, I rage in my videos. I, I use like a, a more edgier content, I believe. But basically, um, there's no gray area right now. So it's either yes or no, and there's no gray area. And it's like if I set it to no, it's not made for children. I'm afraid it's going to restrict my videos to where only people who are 18 or over can watch them. And I don't want to do that either because that I know I do have an audience that's in the 11 to 16 range. And I know that I have, I do have, I know that kids watch these videos. I know that I have kids listening to this right now. And, um, you know, that's, that's whatever. But apparently to YouTube, that's not okay. Um, but I, I, I want you to know that moving forward i'm going to do whatever's best for for the channel and to keep the channel alive like i'm going to fight this to the end and i'm going to try and make this i'm going i'm going to do everything in my power that i can and i think i'm i think i'll be okay you know we haven't seen anything yet that's too drastic or anything but i just wanted to let you guys know and i'm not going to set my videos for yes they're for kids i'm making it not for kids like we're we're going to be cursing and we're going to be like i'm going to drop some shit bombs uh some some ass and bitch in there i don't know what we're going to do but you know that's the thing is like you have to be on the line though you can't be too far adult you know content because if you do that you get demonetized but then if you are a goo goo gaga i know over here you get you, you, your channel gets obliterated so i mean i don't really know exactly what they expect us to do but the biggest thing is just i want to you know i, I just want to make content that i've been making and i don't want it to be looped in to the kids content just because it's figures and just because it's action figures and just because it's WWE toys and all this I figured I hope you guys know exactly you know what content that I'm trying to make and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and I hope you guys are you know supportive and everything like that and I believe you will be you guys always have my back and I appreciate it so very much but basically uh, there's just a lot of things that go into it and we don't know anything right now and I think that's why it's pretty scary and stressful right now is because we don't know what the hell could happen I could I could work my ass off and put up Hell's Gate and I can tell you this Hell's Gate's gonna have some cussing in it Hell's Gate's gonna be like hell and hopefully just because it's called Hell's Gate hopefully you know it doesn't get you know any attention or anything like that because I, I dude it's just it's just freaking frustrating, and I know a lot of content creators are stressed out about it, especially action figure reviewers, but I also want to know, like, what's what what happens to the people that don't even make action figure content? What about people that do other things and stuff like that? Like, I know that, you know, we don't do comic book characters or anything like that, but I don't want, you know, people like Shardimus Prime or anybody like that that reviews other action figures to be looped into that as well. It's just, I don't know, man, it just doesn't seem very fair. And um, it's I don't it's nobody's really fault besides YouTube's I guess because they you know they decided to do those diagnostic tests and they decided to keep that information about children and what they're looking up and stuff which is illegal it's just like geez man I don't know but I apologize for the the ranting and the raving but I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from and I wanted to get all of the info out and I wanted you guys to know exactly I think that's everything that I wanted to cover I wanted to make sure. 
um, basically that I got everything out. But basically, if you have a kids channel that's, or if you have a channel that's made for kids, which is not this channel, um, you will be you you basically you lose all of, you lose most of your money. You lose the comment section. You lose the subscription bell. You lose all of that, and you know it's it's very upsetting. Right here it says, "What is made for kids content?" It says, "We cannot provide specific legal advice, but according to the FTC's guidance on COPPA, a video is child directed, which we may call made for kids if it is directed to children as the primary audience." Video uh, example videos for preschoolers. Like I don't think my videos are for preschoolers. It is directed to children, but children are a secondary audience. Example cartoon video that primarily targets teenagers, but is also intended for younger children I wouldn't say that either but the main thing is just like I, I want to continue doing this and I want to continue making content and everything like that but I appreciate you guys that listen to this all the way through I don't know how much longer we're going to be going but I appreciate you guys just staying through and listening to this all the way to the end because this is the real me this is you know this is no bullshit this is me straight up talking to you guys because I want you guys to know exactly where I'm coming from you know I know a lot of content creators here on YouTube and you know we work very very hard to supply this this entertainment these videos these everything for you guys and you know again I spend hours upon hours of editing I spend hours filming I spend hours making thumbnails like it it may seem like it's you know just five seconds but it's a lot of work that goes into it and I hope you guys do see that in my videos I hope you guys see that in the pick fat I hope you guys notice that in everything that I post up to the channel that you know I put all of my effort into it and it's not just a three second thing where I throw the camera up for two seconds and then you know I upload it to the channel like I literally grind at this every single day and you know I, I do have other ways of income but this is a big portion of it and I want to be able to support my family and continue to support my family and you know continue creating for you guys and making entertaining videos and entertaining things for you guys to watch and enjoy and I hope you guys can do that as well as well as enjoying just this hobby and this community in general but I hope you guys uh, listened all the way through. I appreciate your guys' support so much. Um, you know, I don't want to make a Patreon account. I don't want to have it where you guys have to, you know, outwardly third party support me. But you know, I don't know what's next for the future. But maybe that if that comes to this day, you know, uh, maybe I can make some cool things on there. I tried it once before, um, and it it just didn't work out. I'm not sure exactly. You know, it was hard to keep up with and stuff. But I guess if YouTube kind of uh, took away that revenue, then I would probably have to put more effort into that, and we would, we'll would we figure something out, you know, again, we're going to figure something out, and uh, everything's going to be alright, because I believe it, and uh, everything's going to be straight, but I wanted to be real with you guys, I wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about everything, but thank you guys so very much for watching, uh, I think that's it, if I have any more updates, I'll definitely hit you guys up and everything like that, but uh, just, just continue supporting, continue watching, I appreciate it guys, just watching videos all the way from start to finish, you guys are beasts, and uh, keep doing that keep supporting keep liking and commenting and you know we're gonna we're gonna ride this out and uh, this shit is not for kids but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter on my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you